Hey guys, this is Matt Core from controlpaint.com and what we're looking at here is good junk. I love this blog. It's relatively new and it's created by a guy named Adam Saltzman. He's an indie video game designer, very cool guy. And what he's collected here is a bunch of, I'd say generally consumer electronics and things that he likes the way they look. As far as I can tell, there's no actual about statement. It's just cool stuff. And as you can see, there's tons of these kind of modernist designed classic consumer electronics. They are rectangular in form in a lot of cases. I find them very beautiful. But as I was scrolling down, I got to this right here. This is the Soyuz manual reentry controller. So this is Russian spacecraft hardware. You could think of it like a joystick or maybe a keyboard, but look at the shapes. The reason I want to focus on this piece of design right here is because we throw around this term design all the time. And in the art world, it can have tons of different meanings. The way I like to use it on control paint is to talk about why something looks the way it looks. Because when we look up at a lot of these other images, these don't necessarily look spherical because they need to roll. It's not like this is a sphere for the same reason a basketball is a sphere. This is a sphere for decoration reasons. Not so for this grip. What I can infer about this grip is that it's designed to be used with gloved hands, the buttons are huge, and that probably means it's a problem if you press the wrong button. It's likely that the operator would be wearing a heavy spacesuit, would probably be under strong forces of gravity, and working in a critical environment. And so for all these reasons, dressing it up like consumer electronics to make it elegant is not nearly as important as just making it work and work clearly. So in this case, the design I'm talking about is form following function as in it looks the way it does because it needs to look that way. And this is totally separate from so much of the academic drawing and painting that I teach on control paint. We might do a uh, still life, for instance, and we do that just to learn how to paint. We are capturing what we see. In that process, we're not making any choices about why does something look the way it looks. We're just painting what we see. When you get into imaginary artwork, like concept art or illustration, you have to invent stuff. It's just part of the job. What I think is crucially important is that you have some of this form following function. If you're going to draw a vehicle, you might need to know something about vehicles. If you're going to draw a weapon, know something about weapons. There's still plenty of opportunity to add aesthetic styling. Like to make a record player, this shape is really cool, but you're only going to end up at this design if you also know what a record player needs to have in order to function as a record player. And I think it's really easy if you're in the digital illustration world to skip that step of understanding how something works. So my advice to you is learn about the world. Be interested in the stuff around you, read books, watch documentaries. The more you learn about how things work, why they evolve to look the way they look or functionally why they're shaped the way they are, it will come through in your drawings. It's a different skill from learning how to paint, as in the technique of applying paint to the canvas. But when you're imagining subject matter, I think it can make a huge difference, and it only gets better with time. Now, if you want to learn some specific stuff about visual design, in the store I actually do have a number of videos, either design one and two to talk about just the fundamentals, or almost all of the portfolio builders I've released have this same idea running through them, which is, yes, we're making something look cool, but it's going to look cool because we also know why it looks the way it does. It's going to function, or at least look like it could function. So whether or not you get the videos in my store, just be an informed artist, and your drawings are going to look so much better. Also, check out the blog goodjunk.tumblr.com. It is really cool stuff. So have fun drawing and learning about the world. Thanks for coming to the site, guys.